Georgian House. In Georgian times, Bath and London were the most fashionable places to live. The rich and famous came to Bath. They would rent a house at a fashionable address, and the very best houses were here in the Royal Crescent. The grand front of these terraced houses was decorated with fashionable pillars to look like a Greek temple. This was called Palladian style. Prince Frederick, Duke of York, came to stay at number 16. The rich and famous entertained their guests in the houses here at evening salons. A lady called Alicia McCartney disturbed her neighbours with her wild parties. The first person to live here at number one, the Royal Crescent, arrived in 1776. He was Henry Sandford, and he also owned a big house and land in Ireland. Guests that arrived at the door here would be greeted by a footman and announced to the family as they were shown into the parlour. The parlour was a comfortable room where the family relaxed together. They might read books and newspapers or write letters. The elegant dining room was where guests were entertained with huge meals which showed off the family's wealth and were eaten off the finest silver and china. The family would be waited on by elegantly dressed servants. While the people ate, the food was being cooked underneath their feet in the hot and busy basement kitchen. Here the cook was in charge as each of the many courses was skillfully prepared. A dog in a wheel is turning the meat on the spit in front of the fire. Roasts, all kinds of pies, tarts, fish and many sweet desserts would be carried upstairs in a bewildering array. The basement was where the servants lived and worked. The housekeeper was the person who told the servants what to do. These are her private rooms where everything was planned and the records were kept. This house was unusual in having its own water supply, pumped up by hand from the well below. Dirty clothes might be washed here or taken away to be cleaned by laundry women. After the evening meal, ladies would leave the gentlemen in the dining room and come upstairs here to the withdrawing room which was the grandest room in the house. They might play music and sing together. They might play a game of cards. The room was lit by candles in a glittering chandelier and the room was luxuriously decorated in the latest style. Presently the gentlemen would come and rejoin the ladies. This room is the gentleman's retreat, a quiet room for the owner's hobbies. There is a globe here and a collection of curiosities from around the world. This was the time when Captain Cook and Charles Darwin were discovering and learning about new and exotic faraway lands. These Georgian gentlemen were making big scientific discoveries. Not far from here was the home of William and Caroline Herschel. William and Caroline Herschel earned their living as musicians, but their real love was astronomy. William Herschel was making the best telescopes in the world at this time 
and, together with his sister Caroline, they discovered the planet Uranus, the moons of Saturn, the motion of binary stars, the rotation of Saturn's rings, and the existence of infrared radiation. When it was time for bed, the lady of the house would go upstairs to her bedroom, where her maid would help her prepare for sleep. The gentleman would also go to his own bedroom. There were no bathrooms in a Georgian house. Each bedroom would have a washstand and somewhere to hold the chamber pot, which would be emptied by the maid each morning. The house has two staircases. One is very grand. This is for the owner and the guests. The second, smaller staircase is for the servants to use. At the end of the day, the servants would climb these stairs to their own simple bedrooms in the attic.